Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, this is a special request. Um, the person wants to do this 22 inches high because it's the baby one. So I think that's a good height. So let's make it 22 inches. The second request is she wants to use black glitter cardstock for just the mask. So we're going to figure out a way to slice that out and make that happen. So let's make this a little bit smaller so we don't have to scroll up and down. Okay. Um, and I always have a circle and a square because I feel like uh, with off the mat, I'm always using uh, those two shapes. We're going to use the square to slice our black background once we make this big. And then the circle, a lot of times I use it either to slice or to weld. So I'm just going to throw that in there because my record button's over here. <laughs> All right. So this is right now 22 inches. So let's um, ungroup it and just move all the things out that we don't need. Let's look at this red though. The red right now is 9.7 by 12.8. So if you have 12 by 12 cardstock, you're technically, you can't cut it the way it, uh, the way it is now. But see how the foot is by itself? So let's use contour. Um, we're gonna separate this into two pieces because this is all one piece and then here's the second piece. So we're gonna duplicate it, duplicate it, Okay, and we're gonna use contour. So let's go to contour and we wanna remove this foot, right? So here's just the, the jumpsuit, it's one piece, right? And then on this one, we want just the foot. So when we want just the foot, let's hide all. This is what we want. So we wanna select it and deselect the body. And there you have it. So, right, easy peasy. Um, okay, so the foot is good. This is a little bit of a problem. And right now it's 9.7 by 12.11. Technically too big outside of what the Cricut can cut if you're using 12 by 12 cardstock. But one of the things with Cricut is, um, and we have room because this, the length is under 10, um, 10 inches and technically we can go to 11 and a half, right? So what I want you to do is go to this shift, you know, turn uh, feature and tilt it to the left a little bit. And do you see how when I tilted it, I now change the measurement from left to right at its most left to the most right is 10.11. The top to the bottom is now 11.526. So we're almost there. We just need to tilt it a little bit more. And now it's 10.8 going across and 11.4 going up and down. So it's seamless, it's perfect. Um, so that's just a trick from uh, getting around design space that I didn't know for a long time. So this made it seamless, so I love it. Anything to make the, um, the character seamless is one of my favorite things. All right, so red is good. Let's move this crown over. The crown is fine, as is the mouth. And so, the mask, I kind of want just the mask all around here. And it's the black, the eyes are included with the mask, it's attached. Um, so I don't know if she wanted the eyes to also be glitter cardstock. I'm gonna assume yes, but if not, I'll show you afterwards once we're done. So we don't need the eyes, I'm gonna move that out. And all right, so we have these two things, right? Um, let's just make a copy because we're going to be messing around with this. So this is our copy. Now I'm going to end up, I'm going to want to slice this out. Okay. And that will give me sort of the outline of the mask. It still won't give me exactly what I want, but you'll see in a second, grab those two items and slice. And so now I'm going to remove this. And do you see that kind of gave us more of what we wanted, right? So now it's really close. We just need to slice out this part right here and this part, and that will give us the mask. So with that being said, what shape, you know what? So I really love, I love glitter. Well, I don't love that font for everything, but what I do love is the brackets. So let's go up here. If you don't have this font, and let me move my face so you can see me type it in. It's I Love Glitter. And this is why I like it. The brackets will give me this 
awesome little curve that I find really, really useful for slicing um, hair. In this case, just like a little curve. I'm going to, I think I'm going to be able to find somewhere along this line a perfect match for that. So I'm going to ungroup it. Um, so if you don't have this font, uh, go to dafont.com. It's a safe site. Download fonts for free. And I just love using these brackets. Okay, so we have this. Now, I'm going to change the color just so that I can see the difference between the... Um, feel like something like this will work. Because we want to cut through right here. And let me see. We want to cause a break so that we can separate the mask from the actual outline. So I think that's good right there. So let's do this. Let's grab the two and slice. And Oh yeah, that's a good break, right? I need one more break right here and then that will isolate the mask. Oh, but we gotta get rid of this nose. Are you kidding me? <laughs> it's like, it should have been such an easy thing to do. All right, that's okay. Let's just get rid of that. Let's make this one red, um, just so that we can see the difference between the two, right? Okay, and let's, I'm gonna use like this curve right here to match that, okay? Right around there, I think that's good. So let's grab these two items and slice. Um, oops, that's not what I wanted. Let me undo. I want to remove the red. There we go. Let's remove the red. Let's remove this. Okay. Um, let's click on this guy and contour and see what we have. Okay. So we want to leave the, the, um, the mask area. So let's get rid of all of this. Uh, you know what? Let's hide all. Let's click on the mask. We want the two mask items. We don't want this. All right. So we're left with the mask. And let's grab this and weld because if you remember, our red line went through it. So we're almost there. We want to, let's go to contour. Let's get rid of this little thing. We don't need that. Okay. So we got to get rid of this and this. So with this up here, um, maybe this circle might be good. Let's duplicate it. Okay. And let's make this much bigger so we can get a really clean slice. Okay. I'm going to use this circle up here to get rid of that little nose area. And you know, in the end, what will happen is, um, I think this will be easy for you to use your scissors and just slice off this area. Actually, the scissors would be the easiest thing to cut off, to cut off all three pieces. So if you don't want to do that, I'm going to show you now how I would slice it out. But I honestly think if you grab a pair of scissors, you'll get a clean cut because you're just going to do one and it's just going to be a nice straight cut. Okay. But let's say you wanted to use this. So I'm going to butt this up against that like, and it's so hard to do it with the mouse, but something like that. All right. So let's grab these two and slice. Okay, so that looked really clean, right? Let's flip this guy around and let's get a better angle right there. Maybe like, I 
I don't love this one. Okay, let's grab these two and slice. Oh, that looks pretty good, huh? <laughs> Not bad. Not bad. Okay, so let's get rid of all these things we don't need. Okay, and then we got this last thing to slice off. Okay, so um, let's see. Maybe something like... Um, like right there. This is going to be a hot mess, but I kind of like this idea. All right, so let's see. Remove that. Let's click on this and see. Let's contour. Um, yeah, I don't want that. Oh, but that still left this. Hold on. Oh, I didn't get a clean cut. Okay, undo, undo. Let's weld this. We're almost there. We just gotta cut off one more little piece. Um, arrange, send to the front. I wanna see. I should probably use a different shape, but I really, like I said, because I, I do think that our best bet is to use a pair of scissors right here to get that curve that we want. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of just showing you how to clean up something, but not necessarily, it's not the, the best. Okay, so that doesn't look too bad, right? Let's go to contour and you can just get rid of this little dot. So here's the mask, okay? So let's grab these two items and remove that. Let's get this screen back. Okay, so let's make this mask just a different color so we can see how it all fits, okay? And you see, pretty good, huh? <laughs> all right, now, if you wanted the eyes to be cut out, um, it would look like, let's put this back. And I think the yellow is like really distracting. So let's, um, I'm gonna make it maybe a dark gray. Okay, so there's his mask. Here are his eyes. Let's make the eyes send to the front just so that we can kind of see what it looked like, what it looks like. So, I would just make it part of the mask. I don't think it's worth cutting out the, the eyes. That's gonna be my, my stand. <laughs> okay, so this will be, make it a different, um, I'm gonna make it a dark gray, just so that when we go to the cut page, you're not gonna accidentally put this on, on with the other black, okay? All right, so I think we have everything set now. So we have the eyes. What I would do with the eyes is um, make this bigger. I would slice this out because you don't need that space there. And if you're using scrap, um, it would be nice to just have the two eyes as close as you need to or whatever size shape your scrap paper is, okay? All right, so I think everything is good. Oh, here. Um, if you are using, you know, you can use a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock for this. While it's 11.9 and this is only 7.8, we can shift this, right? We can turn it a little bit and I, now look, it's 10.5 by 7.9. So it's perfect, okay? So the only thing we have left is this black background that we need to um, slice up. It is 12.1 by 22. So... Uh, yeah, you're just going to have to slice, I would slice it down the middle because 12.1 is a little bit too long. And then 22, you would need two sheets of 11. So we're going to need four sheets of 11 by 11, okay? So here's our square. Let's go over here and make it 11 by 11. 
I like 11 by 11. Technically, you could use 11 and a half by 11 and a half, right? Um, but the half inch usually doesn't come into effect. And so I don't like using half inches. Um, so let's just do this. All right, so our first square, go to your position feature. We want basically, we know we need four squares and we want them totally flushed. And the reason why is I've seen a lot of videos where other people don't make them flush. And what I like is, and I'm gonna show you in a second, let's just, let's just make them flush first, okay? So go to your position feature, and just round to the nearest whole number. So 20.55, you will round up to 21, and 6.4, you're gonna round down to six, okay? Then, oh, I was moving Jack-Jack, not the square, sorry. Go to your square, 15.3 becomes 15, 6.5 becomes seven. All right, that's our first square. Duplicate it, put it close enough to this one, to your first square. Then you again, you just round to the nearest whole number. 26.33 becomes 26, 7.1 becomes seven. Then you're gonna grab, this one's already highlighted, right? It's the active shape right now. Hit the shift key and grab your other square and duplicate. Then these two are already flushed with each other. You're just gonna put it here and it's already at 15. Change this to 18. You now have four squares that are totally flushed. The reason why I like it flushed is because then your pieces, when you go to assemble it, they have all four corners unite. It is so much easier when you know the pieces push up against each other to make sure that there's no gaps. And it also will help you determine exactly where your pieces go. You don't want it just even like a little bit off, right? Then your, your image isn't um, whole. So that's why I like doing that. I know not everyone does it that way. All right, so let's bring um, the black outline arranged sent to the front. And I would, I would almost shift him a little bit. And the reason why is I want to make sure this little hair piece um, it stays intact. I don't want to um, slice this in any way. This should be part of another big piece. And I actually kind of like it where it is because if you look at it right now, this piece is going to be a solid piece. This is all good. It's going to be four big pieces, right? What you don't want I mean, in this case, you know, you definitely wouldn't want something like this where we're slicing the hair down down the center, right? Because then this piece will be by itself. You don't want to be taping small pieces. You want four sizable pieces. And this looks pretty darn good to me right now. Okay, so let me make this smaller. When you're slicing, you can only slice two items at one time. It's gonna be one square and the image. And you see, you only have to touch a little bit of the image and it will grab those two items. Oh shoot, I didn't notice this foot. Let's undo that. Okay, let's make sure he's completely in. <laughs> um, this is not bad. This is gonna be one piece, this will be one piece. So let's do that. Here we go. Slice, slice, and I always move it over and I keep it in the same place where it should be um, just so that there's no, I don't know, it's just easy to identify and to put that together. So you always have that kind of like blueprint and that's it. So let's go to the make it screen just to make sure that we're all good. So here is our white. Don't ask me why they put it on two sheets. So let's highlight, click on it, click on the three dots, move object. We're gonna move it to the first page. We're gonna get these eyes together. Now, if you have um, you know, leftover scrap uh, cardstock, However you need to move this, maybe you have a weird piece that's like this or like this. That's why I like separating this because if you remember before, it had to be like this and it's just wasted space. So, or you can even do something crazy like 
get it really close if you wanted to. All right, so here's the um, the glitter black glitter cardstock. All right, here are our black pieces. So our black pieces. I feel as if these two can be consolidated. So let's click on this move object and let's move it to this one. And let's see. Yep. So for your black, you only need two sheets for the whole background. Um, here's the tongue. All right, here's his red jumpsuit. I think his foot can fit over here. So let's go get his foot. Click on the foot, the three dots, move the object, move it back over. You can even put him, let me move my face. You can move it something like this because next time for scrap, you have, what is that? One, two, three, four, a four by six piece right here. That's solid that you can use for something else. Rather than putting it here, then you have like random scrap here. I always like to use it so that the next time you can line up like a nice rectangular piece. Okay, here is the face. Now, I've noticed this is a glitch with, with design space. Do you see how it's cut off? Once you move it a little bit, it comes back. So just make sure, I would just do it whenever you notice a piece is kind of cut off. You just want to make sure that you do that. In case we had other pieces down here, you don't want them overlapping without realizing that they overlapped because then you have to recut the whole thing. So just shift it a little bit and then it's all good. All right, here's this little yellow piece. You move it the way you need to. So a super, super easy project. I love it. All right, if you have any questions, please comment um, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, or uh, send me an email. It's Anne, A-N, at the uselesscrafter.com. And, and if you have a special request, same thing. I would love to help you out with your project. Um, it's not always easy to learn the Cricut at the beginning or even, you know, further into it. So if I can help you at all, please let me know. All right. Bye, guys.